going on you guys? My name is Ben Can, and today we're at Foster's Freeze. If you came here a couple years ago, it used to just be old American cars, hot rods and stuff. Now it's completely different. You know, we got a bunch of BMWs and a much younger crowd. And I just want to start capturing different car communities within LA. So let's go talk to the creators. So this is Lev and Ani, and they started up this whole meet. So tell me about it, you guys. Foster's Freeze Fridays is a meet that's hosted every Friday here in uh, Burbank. It's all makes and models welcome. We're here rain or shine every single Friday. We've got a great community here. The cars are cool too, but the people are the best. So if you're nearby, come out. If you're not nearby, don't worry. There's another Friday coming up after that. You know, everybody's welcome here to have a good time. And the ice cream is great. And the cool part about this whole thing is that a lot of people come out. There's a lot of good energy and you're just bringing everyone together. Absolutely. Yeah. No. Keep it up, you guys. Thank you, bro. All right, man, let's get out of here. Let's do it. <laughs> so right now we're cruising in Lev's E30 and it's a drop top, so hopefully we don't freeze. <laughs> no, I'll turn the heater on for us. Stay oh. nice and comfortable. So we're leading the whole pack. Everyone's behind us. But we just hit traffic, but I think we're heading over to like Midtown. I've never heard about it till now, but I guess we'll have Lev talk about it. So right now we're headed to the Midtown E30 event in Midtown Los Angeles. It's an event where once every two months, some of the coolest uh, E30s come out with even cooler people. And we're gonna go check out some cars, man. funny you guys this is all new to me but it's just really fun going into a completely different community this guy is like what would we describe you as like you're my uh tour guide dude into oh the, yeah i'm your the bavarian world <laughs> yeah you're, you're e30 uh, community tour guide all right here to it. guide you on your journey <laughs> So this is Danny. What's up, bro? What were you thinking with this build? Honestly, I mean, the first reaction is I don't know what I was thinking. I kind of just started piecing things together. I think the inspiration came from, at one point, every car guy wants to have a cop car. And it's just, do we spend the money on it? So I think this time we did it. So how often do you get pulled over with this thing? Um, I don't want to jinx myself. I've gotten pulled over three times. I've gotten tickets one time. Luckily, we haven't been state ref. I don't want to, you know, jinx myself, but uh, it definitely caused a ton of attention in both a good and a bad way, but <laughs> life's a risk, so we gotta do it. I bet. And then did I hear you have a V8 under the hood? Okay. I do, I do. I have a V8. I have an M6E out of a 540i E39 paired with the six-speed manual transmission. That must be really fun. Like, how light do these cars weigh? Uh, roughly, she. I haven't weighed her recently, but I would estimate roughly about like 3,000 pounds, give or take. And then you're definitely pushing a motor roughly at about 300 horsepower. That motor's supposed to be pushing a big boat, which is an E39. So on this little car, it's a lot of fun. It's very responsive. Did you do everything to this car or did you buy it somewhat done? So I initially got the car from a gentleman in Utah who 
piece the motor and the transmission, like the drivetrain together. The car was driving, but needed a lot of, you know, making everything tight. And then uh, the whole body and everything was OEM. The car had Euro bumpers, so it was, they were going for like maybe a cleaner build. And I took all the Euro stuff off, took all the OEM stuff off, and then just put everything together. This is an LTO kit, and we pieced that together, did a late model bumper conversion on it, and then obviously the whole interior fully, it's more of a track car style car now, and then uh, custom ESM wheels on it. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, where can people find you at? Uh, they can follow me on at E30 Street Sweeper, and uh, YouTube channel's the same exact thing, and that's probably where you're gonna get that BMW content. All right, dude, that's awesome. Thank you, bro. funny this meet is just so different from what I usually go to but it's pretty cool I've been meeting tons of cool people a lot of interesting cars it's funny I need to get another car you guys I don't know what but something I don't know I really want to get the 2024 Mustang but we'll see it's just fun to you know just branch the different age groups and communities and bring everyone together because you know at the end of the day like we all like cars So Lev decided we are not going home cold, so he put the top on. Yeah, we're gonna go home in comfort today. <laughs> so what's going on here, dude? This is an old 80s feature, you know? You can just smoke in the car and it blows straight out the back. <laughs> Guys, we're heading out. It was pretty fun. It was just completely different, and it was just fun to get out and just meet a bunch of different people, so. Shout out to Lev. Absolutely, I got you. <laughs> this guy knows everyone. He's the most well-connected guy in the car community, so. No. Everyone needs a Lev in their life. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Holy f You're hitting all the bumps in the road, man. Dude, if we hit that, we were not going home tonight. <laughs> that wasn't a bump. That was a Grand Canyon f***ing transport to Los Angeles. <laughs> Holy s***. Yeah, you're going to end up on that thing. <laughs> yeah, for real.